What's going on guys? I'm Spud Reed, you're here at Draw Spud, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a critique on some how to draw books. So a couple days ago, I was rummaging through the cabinets looking for art supplies and whatnot, and I found these how to draw books, where it'll give you a demonstration on how to draw specific characters, things, animals, and whatnot. Now I remember some of the how to draw books being better than others, so I kept looking in the cabinets for more books, and today we're going to go through them and figure out which book has the best drawing process. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now for the first book, I have this How to Draw Rainforest Animal book. Let me get my camera. This book is about drawing rainforest animals. So let's look through the book and see if we can find a drawing technique or drawing guide that we want to draw. So in this book, it seems to be that the drawings are mostly five to seven step drawings where they start off drawing a, cir a couple circles for the outline and then they slowly fill in the outer shape and then eventually get to the detail of the actual animal. So I found this parrot one that I like and I'm going to attempt to follow the guiding procedures and complete a parrot drawing from what it shows me here and we'll see how well it goes paper, and my pencil. Time to draw a parrot. There's step one. There's step two. Step three. Now I'm gonna go in to step six and seven and add the finishing touches. And there is my following the book parrot drawing. Not too good, but the book gave me ba basic comprehension of the scale of the parrot's part, the body parts, so it would look accurate. It'd be accurate. My, I would have an accurate representation of the body. I would rate this book, judging from what I've seen so far, um, I give it a six out of ten. The, the pace throughout the levels is even and the drawings aren't too complex in a whole. So thumbs up, six out of 10, on to the next book. Okay, the next book is Awesome Things to Draw with over eight different things to draw. And this one is not limited to animals. Um, looks like it's a combination of dinosaurs, animals, sports, motorized vehicles, stuff like that. Wow, this is a lot of pages. So, how big is this book? You can see on the edges right here, it tells you like what, what are the subjects that you could be drawing. So I'm gonna pick from one of these and find one that I would like to draw. I'm also going to look at the pace on how they do their drawings and compare it to the last book. This book seems to have less steps in it than the previous book, but it gives lines where you can base your character off of, which adds, which helps with the scale. So, so far in the book, most of the drawings are like four processes, four stages. You have like the basic, like putting the circles in and then you have connecting it to make the body parts and then you have adding a little more detail and then you have the final piece. Whereas in the last book, it was at, from like at least five to seven or eight. We're here, there are only four. So I looked through the different sections and I came upon dinosaur section. And I found this picture, I don't know what dinosaur it is, 
Oh, it's a. Uh, not gonna pronounce that. But so I'm gonna try to draw this dinosaur, and I'm gonna see how much help this book is able to provide with me drawing this. Let's draw whatever this dinosaur is. And there we go, that is the dinosaur guide drawing. Overall, I think this one was easier in the beginning because the beginning on the other book had a bunch of stages and like personally, I would rather have just like had like the final image to draw and then draw from it. Maybe have a little bit, maybe have a little bit of help like in the middle with proportions, but this book provided that, which is good for me, but I feel like for beginners, people who aren't as good at drawing, it would be, it would be harder for them to do the drawing in this book because there are less, state, less steps. Whereas the other book had more steps, so it would be easier. So let me get another drawing book. Now, I can't remember if I mentioned it, but the last book, I would rate a 7 out of 10 because it had a bunch of different drawings you could do, and though it had less stages, the proportions and I think overall drawing was better than the previous one. Okay, starting the next book, we have Angry Bird Space. So let me look through the book and see if I can find something to draw. And also I'm gonna figure out what percentage out of 10 this book gets for its drawing stages, given that these are pretty simple drawings. So let's find something to draw. So I'm gonna draw the Angry Bird Space Bomb Bird. I think it's a cool outfit and it's one of my favorite Angry Bird characters. So let me follow the steps and draw the bomb bird. Okay, there is my bomb bird drawing. Now, looking at this book, I think the rating I'm gonna give it is a 10 out of 10. Just kidding, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 because the drawings were pretty good, the stages progressed pretty well, and the end drawing is not too bad. So it is tied with the first book for second place. But in my heart, it's a 10 out of 10. Now, for the next book, which I think also is the last book, I'm gonna do one of the drawings and then I'm gonna create my own how to draw drawing guide, whatever you wanna call it. So let's see what the next book is. We have another animal book. Now this one is a lot longer and it looks to be pretty good. So let's check it out. Just by looking through the pages, you can already tell that these drawings are more simple. And on the last step, they add a bunch of color, a bunch of detail, and that's for you to fill in. Personally, I like this a lot better, so I can get the proportions down pretty easily, and then I can choose to add my own color and detail. So let's see how it turns out. So the elephant page on this book looks pretty interesting. So I'm gonna do the elephant 
with their stages. Okay, and there is the elephant drawing. Now, I'm gonna rate this book 8 out of 10 because it, like the second book, has a bunch of different things you can draw from, which is a plus, and also, in this book, unlike any of the others, it shows the exact, exact shape that you're gonna end up with at the end. So like, it would have the elephant's trunk shape instead of just a circle, and then you have to chisel it down, but instead, it would just be like, it would just be the trunk shape, and you, you can just leave it with that. Personally, I really like this book, and it has a bunch of different things to change. And in the end, it even gives you a good picture of the animal colored, so you can figure out how you want to color it. So overall, this is, this is the best book. So that is my rating on the how to draw books and my opinion on them. And now I'm gonna try to create my own. I'm gonna have it, there be five stages, I think, five stages, uh, yeah, that's good, five stages. And it will be like any other how to draw book leading up to the final drawing. And there we go. That is my Minecraft Steve how to draw step guide. It's pretty bad, but that was my attempt at doing a step guide. I think step guides that tell you what you should do to progress through your drawing for a final result that you want identical to something else, I think they're pretty useful. And they're good at memorizing proportions so you can figure out what you want to do for your next drawings and not have to look at the book. If you haven't tried drawing from a step guide, I would definitely encourage it. Give it a try. It's fun. If you want to get an Angry Birds Space step guide, go for it. And there we go. Those are my critiques on the how to draw books. Before you leave, give the video a like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you for video eight.